Welcome. David. William Burroughs said that words are a virus from outer space. That being the case, Nimbin, this is what happens when you get infected. The World Health Organization heard about me and they put me in this box only to be free when I come across a town bordering on ca Category 1 poetry quarantine. And Nimbin, you're pretty close. You're that infected and you have a choice tonight. The ghost boy asked me if you want to be infected, I'm going to give you the options to put you over the edge. I've broken free. If you want to be infected, this is how I got infected, reading How by Allen Ginsberg. It's all I've got left in here. If you go near this book, you're over the edge. If you want to get infected with poetry, you've got to fill my cup with red wine before the end of tonight, like any good poet. And if you don't want to be infected, you need protection, people. You need protection from this disease. You need every protection you can, you can get. Condoms. I've got vomit bags, I've got gloves, I've got stockings. Take the medical mask, take the gloves, take the condoms. Take everything you can and take 40 cents to make a, code, a phone call to your parents to tell them you've become a walking metaphor. I'm the ghost boy, this is poetry and this is what I do. I knew this boy. A boy who never knew me. Reflected in the crack stained glass of a city train full of morning corpses. Their coffee stubble and panadol eyes. Clutch papers, trembling to the rumbling of a diesel engine that's long gone. Ghost boy. Your red hood and washed out eyes. Frosty to the AM sharpness of these business suits so pointy and important that bustle through us as we are not net profit. We are not even flowchart. We are all yesterday. This goes out another infection to anyone who spent Friday night with a stranger. It's called Friday. I'm in love. Who's in love here tonight? With poetry, come on, who's in love? Love is a commodity we hid in our trousers, revealed within the brown stain of suede, the zipper that would never open, the smear of lipstick going down, the slap of backs on slats and foots on broken, the heart hides in the corner of a pub without windows. At the urinal, Friday night, I pissed your name in every direction. North for the economy of words and for fucking, for fucking. East for the morning that rose to find us nameless. All awkward ankles tangled in those sheets. West for the way we parted. All mum 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 mumbles and come on your lips. South for the numbers we gave on crumpled scraps of our hearts. Mine was for the laundromat down the road that is long since closed down and yours yours was for some guy with a big voice who didn't know anyone called Rosie the other most infected town that I found outside here they category one it's called Brisbane and that's what this poem is about I walk these streets in search of a poem past the drunken lives of Friday night Pubs back with bands playing karaoke covers, uneasily neighboured by neon bars where straight men wear gay clothes and suck cocktails. <laughs> I walk these streets hungry for a poem. In the New York pizza shop, I smell a stanza in a thick spinach crust. <sighs> Outside the main squeeze, an accordion busker, a cuss ears with sea, shit shanties, a tease, the tone deaf. I walk these streets, strung out for a poem. In the glowing night, the glimpse of a short skirt with goth traces and a vacant sign for a face makes me leap into the shadows cast by a bus, roving for inner city ghosts and stragglers. I walk these streets on the hunt for a poem. 10 p.m., the valley malls and exploding carnivale. A Polynesian warrior beats two drums with clenched fists while empty crowds drown beer, filling their mouths with pasta 
and seduction, exposing their night thighs to the moonlight. I walk these streets on the search for a palm. When in the corner of Brunswick and Ivory, my senses are accosted by a lake of vomit. In its textured depths, a constellation of onion rings orbit. Planetary chunks of spicy wedges and I see my future falling to my knees. I dearly breathe the tiny carrots into poetic visions. The final stanza is in the liquid splashes of milky tequila and I become conscious <laughs> that the poet's job is to liberate the inside to make sense of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us couldn't make the journey through the earth plain as poets, and this goes out to one of them. It's called 4J. Slipped through my hands on a ghost of a Monday morning. Left a message, slight and fading. The words whispered by a child. Crossed the line between thought and action we had drawn on the whiteboard black. On your beach, you turned your back. Your footprints, they won't be tracked. You would take a paint scraper to the canvas you were born in, digging your way to China in the hope of finding something better for you to wear, but nothing ever fit. My phone was dead. I still don't know what could have been said or if your hands were shaking when they put the hose to the exhaust. Did you know what you were taking? I awake on Thursday, see you walking through the molasses of in-between days and madness, hear you crying through an absence, the darkness roaring down my sleep. I let you go. I let you go. I let you go. This is my last poem. If you're infected at the end of this poem, you'll know when you'll all scream out hallelujah. It's about the only church that I ever fucking pray in. No church is needed. Every Sunday I take a sinner's crawl and sprawl the pages of my prayer book to the curve of her behind. Recite the Psalms and the constellation of her ass crack. The tree of life spans out from her thighs. Oh, to climb upon the branches, to swing upon the vines of her valley. Such sweet, sweet wine, so holy to these wonder parched lips to have tasted the divine. Da Vinci could never paint the Sistine Chapel of your bedroom eyes. Van Gogh would have cut both ears off twice just to hear your soaring sighs. Sam Hunt must have scoured you to write, for your body has no floor. No floor or walls, just this flaming door and me burning up inside. Till she comes in waves, a sudden sea. Till she comes in waves, a soul set free. Till she comes in waves, and then we breathe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you.